what's approaching the supreme moment reality striking closer than it seems don't it What's well, good? So we're back at it again. I uh, in the last video I talked about potentially going a little bit further past stage 100, but yeah, I ended up doing so and uh, wasted a lot of time. <laughs> in addition to the time already wasted as it was, but uh, the good thing about these uh, extreme Z battle stages past the required uh, 30 stages is the fact that you do get Zenny, so it's a good way to uh, collect a lot of Zenny. Uh, if you're able to obviously but um really you know that's all it comes down to either that or i got bored and uh also wanted to see how you know far i could get that's pretty much the only reason why i do that um otherwise it's a complete waste of time so uh let's go ahead and get started this is uh stage 150 and then we'll kind of skip through the stages and go all the way to level 200 and then conclude there i don't think i'm gonna go I don't think I'm gonna go past stage 200. I think I've pretty much wasted enough time as it, as it is, so you know I'll probably stop here for now. But uh, again, did get a lot of Zenny out of it, and uh, the team that I used, I did make some variations. Oh, by the way, shout out to uh, Lance uh, Jitan in the last video for you know mentioning why not bring Janemba. I had I had thought about you know keeping Janemba in reserve uh, in case I really really needed him. Uh, came down to that point. Um, the in extreme intelligence type units do also get uh, a boost in this extreme Z battle event, so it's definitely worthwhile to bring in uh, those types of units. Now, I did test out and try out with the LR Metacooler Army. However, uh, they do take quite a bit of damage, so it's not really worthwhile to bring that unit. Um, even Janemba, though, at this point, he'll take uh, quite a bit in hits. Like the super attack from Gogeta, uh, he'll still get hit for about similar amounts as to Turles, like around the 130,000 region, like that's the type of damage you'll be dealing with even with Janemba that can, you know, effecti effectively guard against all types. So it definitely gets to the point where a lot of it does come down to luck and how, you know, how often you're able to uh, successfully transform, which brings me to the next point. Uh, the team right here within the movie boss category and, and most of it being agility types, uh, there are three units total that do transform. You've got the Great Ape Turles, you've got the Metacooler that you're seeing right now, as well as the Tapion unit. So you've got three chances of uh, potentially transforming and, and conserving, you know, HP depletion and trying to uh, get the uh, enemy's, you know, Gogeta's HP down as much as possible within those pretty much invincible turns, I guess you could say. But um, the Metacooler that I have does not have any dupes, so of course, you're not going to see additional attacks or criticals, but the Turles unit and uh, Tapion unit with the Huridagarn transformation, they do quite a bit of damage. Uh, you're looking at, um, you know, I've seen Huridagarn hit for about 2.1 million with the criticals, so definitely applies a lot of damage, helps out a lot, and uh, that's kind of one of the ways as to uh, why it's, you know, a little bit easier to get past these stages than some of the other uh, Extreme Z battle events. So. Uh, let's see, this was, yeah, so that was stage 150, and then we are going to skip to, uh, I think it was stage 180, I guess 190, so we're going to skip quite a bit, 40 levels, and get to 190, similar, you know, same exact team format, pretty much uh, has been working well for the most part. Like I said, I did try a couple different variations, uh, you know, with some other units that fell into the uh, movie boss category, but... Uh, this one seemed to fit the bill um, in the best way possible. Um, it's just basically uh, uh, an overall balanced setup. You've got three units that transform. You've got two of the Turles units as lead that provide that 40% increase, also transforms as well. Um, you're looking at you know HP recovery uh, at the beginning of the turn, and then dropping you know Gogeta's uh, defense down by 80% along with, you know, 120% increase to uh, his own attack. So the uh, transformed uh, Turles unit does also hit for a, a very good amount. You know, you've got uh, Golden Frieza obviously can tank up to, you know, uh, what was it, 90% if HP is 50% or above. So you do have to be careful about, you know, planning out the rotations. You know, if, if you know the HP levels are going to be below 50%, you know, just put him in the third slot. That way uh, he won't show up as quickly. I think the other unit, uh, I'm trying to think, who else did I put in? 
Well, obviously Tapion's the uh, uh, defensive unit. Uh, even without the transformation, the guy can defend very well. Um, and then after the uh, transformation's over, uh, you're looking at uh, a severe uh, defense increase for that guy too. So, you know, initially uh, he gets a 50% damage reduction or yeah, whatever the case is, and then uh, even more, even more so afterwards. So, he's definitely a very helpful unit. Um, and um, yeah, that's pretty much the format. Janemba, uh, he's still a great unit for this. He can defend uh, relatively well. He can dodge attacks, obviously, and uh, he can actually hit for a very decent amount, too. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, so he didn't dodge this one. So, let's see how much in damage he's going to end up taking. Like 140,000. That's a pretty um, ridiculous number considering how good Janemba is defensively. So, um, that'll put it in perspective as to, you know, what this. Uh, <laughs> Stage is like a little bit, I guess, at uh, 190. But both of the Turles units, Great Ape and the uh, regular version, they they hit for a lot. And both of these guys, I gave them level 14 additional attack, level 12 crit for criticals. Uh, tends to work out very well with that format. Initially, I was on the fence about whether whether to go 11 and 15 uh, distribution method, but uh, 14 and 12, 14 and 12 seems to work out very well for me. And then we've got the, again, Medical Lure Transformation here. Um, yeah, I mean, he does uh, decent enough. I think the biggest advantage here is the fact that uh, you're not, you don't have to worry about taking damage and you can at least get, you know, at least a million in damage against uh, Gogeta. So, you know, that definitely does help, uh, depending on how lucky you get. Obviously, it's not guaranteed every time you'll get a super attack because of, you know, you've always, you're gonna have link issues, I mean, these individual units are not going to share any sort of link skills so you're still going to have to come up with a way to collect you know a total of six key to get the super attack and as you can see in the third slot sometimes you can't do that but if you're able to get at least one or two super attacks per rotation or turn uh, within the transformations you should be able to put put in a lot of damage dealt all right so that was uh stage 190 and then moving on to the last uh I wouldn't even call it a checkpoint. I think at this point it's going to be a, a final destination. You know what I mean? <laughs> so um, yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much it right here. Is uh, stage 200. Um, I you know once I got to 100, I was like, let me just see if I can actually get to to level 200 and actually beat it. If I do that, I'll go ahead and stop because I've wasted enough time as it is. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't plan on uh, spending more time on this EZA. I think I'm done with it for now. Uh, eventually, I'll probably come around to it. I don't know. It seems like I've almost, uh, I, like I almost started making stage 200 like uh, the standard like goal, I guess in a way. Um, I don't know though. Like 100 was pretty crazy as it was back then, but um, it seems like you know with the the better team building. Stage 200 is definitely uh, attainable now, you know what I mean? So um, it's, it's definitely a, a, a personal goal that I set, I guess. Again, I did it for the Zenny too. You get quite a bit of Zenny uh, going through this amount of uh, stages in the Extreme Z battle. You know, I did this one and, and I did the uh, the Broly one at uh, stage 200 not too long ago. So you know, that's like close to uh, 340 stages worth of getting Zenny. So, you know, it definitely does make uh, make your bank account look uh, a little bit better. So you'll be able to see again the uh, Turles unit after the transformation, how much in damage you're looking at. It's it's actually a, a very good output and uh, defense wise, uh, he's able to defend a decent amount as well. So overall, it's, it's definitely one of the one of the best units to include on the setup. And recently I did pull up, uh, pull a couple of dupes for this guy. So, you know, he's currently at 90%, just need one more dupe. Really would like to rainbow this unit. Probably one one of the rainbow units that I want to see uh, within within my deck. I think the other one, honestly, is I would love to see my agility metacooler uh, be a rainbow. I think I, I'm actually a big fan of that unit. It's it's a very fun unit to run. Um, you know, attack obviously increases based on attacks received, and even without dupes, like if he maximizes the passive attack increase, you're looking at potentially. You know, two million plus. Um, you know, with the with the proper uh, uh, rotation. So he's definitely a very good unit, and I love running him on a variety of teams. And you know, the the category team that he has uh, the leader skill for, most malevolent clan, is also a very fun team to run. So 
Um, I, I know eventually it's probably going to hit global, and he's definitely a, a, a very good unit in my opinion. Alright, so we also did get the Hugh Erdogan transformation, and again, this guy is definitely real clutch. Uh, he's able to put out, you know, right there without the criticals, 1.4 mil in damage. Uh, this guy does have the ability to get additional attacks pretty frequently, so you're looking at a lot of damage applied during the um, uh, transformation. And, and I, I did tend to get lucky with the um, enough getting enough key for the uh, super attack. So as you saw there, you know, three back-to-back -back super attacks, you know, not counting any potential additional attacks that would uh, potentially kick in so yeah it's pretty much a wrap here you know just kind of saved it for the, uh, the last slot to get that super and uh, yeah this is pretty much stage 200 definitely gets a little bit more difficult at this point well I guess the additional attack did kick in so let's see no critical again 1.4 million so very solid unit definitely helps out a lot so yeah, that was uh, stage 200, up to level 200 within the Strength Gogeta's Extreme Z Battle or Extreme Z Awakening event. So like I said, I'm going to stop here. Uh, I've wasted enough time as it is, so hey, at least I got the Zenny, you know what I mean? So I'm satisfied. All right, that was pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.